Hello, Timmy Napso here, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Fortis Pay. We're talking about artificial intelligence, Netflix, streaming services, and the evolution of the fight against users sharing their passwords, right? So it's a, the, the statistic is about 26% of millennials share their passwords with folks so that they can get on the Netflixes of the world. People are using their parents' Uh, uh, accounts when it comes to Xfinity streaming services. Why would I pay for cable if I could just go onto my iPad and stream it to my device, right? So all these things are actually causing losses for these large companies who are employing people and trying to make sure that they continue to move the needle. So when an when a company like Netflix or a company like Xfinity or any streaming service finds themselves trying to figure out cost and benefit analysis and they're saying, well, we can give up to four users as an example for Netflix. Four users can use our service at one time. That's great, but how many other users are not using it at the same time? Where that would be a, a revenue generator. When I was growing up, right, we're gonna talk about music service. We'd go to a record store or a CD store, eventually a DVD store, and you'd rent something or you'd buy something, right? And what really was a big thing for us was Napster and LimeWire and downloading music and downloading content for free. And those artists, their intellectual property was really threatened at that time, right? And they didn't know how music was gonna change. Companies like Apple really did a good job of shifting that. Or, you know, people don't want to buy 16 songs when they really only love that one song you created, right? People don't want to own the movie when they're only gonna watch it once. They would like to just watch it and move on. So one thing that we have found is there is this concept of are we hurting the market by sharing our passwords and not allowing basically these companies to earn what they've put together, right? It's not meant for four people, uh, more than four people to have usernames and passwords and watch. So uh, there are companies that have, have focused on solving this problem for companies like Netflix, other streaming companies that can't afford perhaps what Apple has put together. Apple makes it very challenging to not have your own username and password. I mean, if, if I my username and password, I can't just simply share it with another person because I only have a limited amount of devices that my Apple Music can play on, and they've locked that down. As a matter of fact, for my children, my children are young, and now they're at home and they have iPads. I used to just have them share my uh, uh, Apple ID, but they knew my password and they're downloading content, and I don't know what they're watching because they're children. So in order to turn on the adult uh, uh, and child family provisioning, right? So to, to lock them out, what I had to do is create their own Apple IDs. And what it basically forced was this concept of now I can know what child number one is doing, child number two, I can set parameters for when they're on and when they're not on, what they're doing on their devices. And it, it actually, the additional cost is well worth it for security purposes, right? Netflix is trying to do the same thing. Build your own uh, Netflix account and build your own, basically, what do you wanna watch? And if somebody comes into my profile and starts watching it, it actually may ruin what it is that I'm watching. If I know I'm in, you know, I'm at point X in a movie, right? 24 minutes in and somebody else started watching that same movie under my profile, I don't know where I left off, right? So they're really trying to make sure that it's a, a an extremely intimate experience from a user perspective. And these companies are gonna help to make sure from an AI, artificial intelligence is gonna find out how many places are being logged in, right? So I'm in Michigan and yet three people keep logging in from Texas, California, and Florida because they're my buddies from college. That is going to be a problem. They're gonna start locking people out for being able to do that. Uh, so stay tuned. We're gonna keep an eye on how artificial intelligence changes business and make sure that it kind of has this Apple experience. And by the way, don't feel so bad about it if you've gotten free Netflix for all this time. You're ahead compared to the, the next generation of, of viewers. Uh, thanks for listening.